Welcome to HECA 2 exam practice test. Our topic today is anatomy and physiology. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which force motivates filtration in the kidneys? A. Osmosis. B. Smooth muscle contraction. C. Peristalsis. D. Blood pressure. The correct answer is D. Blood pressure. Explanation. The force of blood pressure motivates filtration in the kidneys. Filtration is the process through which the kidneys remove waste products from the body. All of the water in the blood passes through the kidneys every 45 minutes. Waste products are diverted into ducts and excreted from the body, while the healthy components of the water in blood are reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Peristalsis is the set of involuntary muscle movements that move food through the digestive system. Number 2. Which of the following hormones decreases the concentration of blood glucose? A. Insulin. B. Glucagon. C. Growth hormone. D. Glucocorticoids. The correct answer is A. Insulin. Explanation. Insulin decreases the concentration of blood glucose. It is produced by the pancreas. Glucagon is a hormone produced by the pancreas. Glucagon acts in opposition to insulin, motivating an increase in the levels of blood sugar. Growth hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland. It is responsible for the growth of the body, specifically by metabolizing proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. The glucocorticoids are a group of steroid hormones that are produced by the adrenal cortex. The glucocorticoids contribute to the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Number 3. Which structure controls the hormones secreted by the pituitary gland? A. Hypothalamus. B. Adrenal gland. C. Tests. D. Pancreas. The correct answer is A. Hypothalamus. Explanation. The hypothalamus controls the hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. This part of the brain maintains the body temperature and helps to control metabolism. The adrenal glands, which lie above the kidneys, secrete steroid hormones, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. The tests are the male reproductive glands, responsible for the production of sperm and testosterone. The pancreas secretes insulin and a fluid that aids in digestion. Number 4. How much of a female's blood volume is composed of red blood cells? A. 10%. B 25%, C 40%, D 70%. The correct answer is C 40%. Explanation. 40% of female blood volume is composed of red blood cells. Red blood cells, otherwise known as erythrocytes, are large and do not have a nucleus. These cells are produced in the bone marrow and carry oxygen throughout the body. White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, make up about 1% of the blood volume. About 55% of the blood volume is made up of plasma, which itself is primarily composed of water. The plasma in blood supplies cells with nutrients and removes metabolic waste. Blood also contains platelets, otherwise known as thrombocytes, which are essential to effective blood clotting. Number 5. Which type of cholesterol is considered to be the best for health? A. Low density lipoproteins LDL. B. High density lipoproteins HDL. C. Very low density lipoproteins VLDL. D. Very high density lipoproteins VHDL. The correct answer is B. High density lipoproteins HDL. Explanation. High-density lipoproteins HDL are considered to be the healthiest form of cholesterol. This type of cholesterol actually reduces the risk of heart disease. A lipoprotein is composed of both lipid and protein. These substances cannot move through the bloodstream by themselves, they must be carried along by some other substance. Although most people think of cholesterol as an unhealthy substance, it helps to maintain cell walls and produce hormones. Cholesterol is also important in the production of vitamin D and the bile acids that aid digestion. Number 6. Where are the vocal cords located? 
A. bronchi. B. trachea. C. larynx. D. epiglottis. The correct answer is C. larynx. Explanation. The vocal cords are located in the larynx. These elastic bands vibrate and produce sound when air passes through them. The larynx lies between the pharynx and the trachea. The pharynx is the section of the throat that extends from the mouth and the nasal cavities to the larynx, at which point it becomes the esophagus. The trachea is the tube running from the larynx down to the lungs, where it terminates in the bronchi. The epiglottis is the flap that blocks food from the lungs by descending over the trachea during a swallow. Number 7. Where does gas exchange occur in the human body? A. Pharynx. B. Bronchi. C. Larynx. D. Alveoli. The correct answer is D. Alveoli. Explanation. Gas exchange occurs in the alveoli, the minute air sacs on the interior of the lungs. The bronchi are large cartilage-based tubes of air, they extend from the end of the trachea into the lungs, where they branch apart. The larynx, which houses the vocal cords, is positioned between the trachea and the pharynx, it is involved in swallowing, breathing, and speaking. The pharynx extends from the nose to the uppermost portions of the trachea and esophagus. In order to enter these two structures, air and other matter must pass through the pharynx. Number 8. Which structure of the nervous system carries action potential in the direction of a synapse? A. Cell body. B. Axon. C. Neuron. D. Myelin. The correct answer is B. Axon. Explanation. Axons carry action potential in the direction of synapses. Axons are the long, fiber-like structures that carry information from neurons. Electrical impulses travel along the body of the axons, some of which are up to a foot long. A neuron is a type of cell that is responsible for sending information throughout the body. There are several types of neurons, including muscle neurons, which respond to instructions for movement, sensory neurons, which transmit information about the external world, and interneurons, which relay messages between neurons. Myelin is a fat that coats the nerves and ensures the accurate transmission of information in the nervous system. Number 9. Where is the parathyroid gland located? A. Neck. B. Back. C. Side. D. Brain. The correct answer is A. Neck. Explanation. The parathyroid gland is located in the neck, directly behind the thyroid gland. It is responsible for the metabolism of calcium. It is part of the endocrine system. When the supply of calcium and blood diminishes to unhealthy levels, the parathyroid gland motivates the secretion of a hormone that encourages the bones to release calcium into the bloodstream. The parathyroid gland also regulates the amount of phosphate in the blood by stimulating the excretion of phosphates in the urine. Number 10. What is the name of the process in the lungs by which oxygen is transported from the air to the blood? A. Osmosis. B. Diffusion. C. Dissipation. D. Reverse osmosis. The correct answer is B. Diffusion. Explanation. In the lungs, oxygen is transported from the air to the blood through the process of diffusion. Specifically, the alveolar membranes withdraw the oxygen from the air in the lungs into the bloodstream. Osmosis is the movement of a solution from an area of low concentration to an area of higher concentration through a permeable membrane. Dissipation is any wasteful consumption or use. Reverse osmosis is a process for purifying a solution by forcing it through a membrane that blocks only certain pollutants. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.